Hi there! Welcome to this new episode of our Hearts of Iron 4 game with Brazil. So, where did we leave off last time? Well, we are in a war with the Allies. And, well, with quite a lot of the Allies, so we'll have to see how that goes. But, we don't have a navy, we don't have a strong uh, marine army, so we can't really invade those islands. Well, perhaps at some point we will have to, but well, not for now. So we'll have to defend the coastline, but at this main, at the same time, we need to expand. So what did we do last time? We've started up justifying against Colombia. That will bring the U.S. into the board, of course. Well, we'll see how that goes. For now, justification has started, and we'll just try and head into Colombia as soon as we can. If we check, we can see that our infrastructure is doing rather well in the Amazons, but, well, there are quite a few places where it can be better, so we have to see how fast we can drive in, but let's hope we can drive in fast. We don't have a really big army opposing us, so we should be able to drive through rather fast, but we'll see that. Right now, we'll just... Get in as soon as we can. Let's speed time up and let's keep preparing. Well, that goes fast. 25 days to go. They keep on attacking us. Do you have, well, not many losses yet? I'd like to keep it that way. Problem is, we only have a few divisions, so soon as he really lands or brings in a lot of divisions, we could be in trouble. And our manpower isn't big enough. Well, thanks for the manpower. Ooh, this could be interesting. These look good, we get manpower. Justify war goal will go a little bit longer, but the production will go a lot faster. Let's do that. Let's see, how far are we? 15 days to go. This will bring the US into war, however, so we'll have to consider that. Let's just add more units in the mix. We have jungle specialists now. Perhaps we should make a decent jungle force? I do believe so. That could really help us. Let's make a big one out of that. And, well, maybe we should just make a complete army we can use in the jungle. Not sure yet, but we'll see if that's an option. Let's save it up, and let's start training them. We'll train 10 immediately. Well, perhaps we should not train these here. And... Yeah, let's get the jungle guys in. And hope that will solve a lot of our problems. Especially if we have to go all the way up here through the jungle. They could be of big help. So, still 10 days. Well... There's a lot of calculations to do, so computer ain't that fast right now. I'll manage though. As we can see, no enemy troops here, so... If we take that into consideration, we are still safe. Really wondering if the US will get into the war. I believe so, but... Well, you can never know for sure. I have seen it happen that they wouldn't join in, even though you think they will. Just keep an eye on that. Sweden still trying to attack us. Well, it doesn't appear to be coming in, but we'll see. They didn't join in. Thank you, US of A. I really like you now. I mean, they should stay out by join in. We're just fighting for the right cause, but... Well, with the good old US of A, you never know. Well, hopefully soon we can start justifying against Peru. That 
guess we'll have to finish him off here first. That'll do the trick. Immediately going for the capital, which is really good. If we can get that, we can do a really mighty fine job. Nope, nope, get here. Well, just continue. It's no problem. Not getting there. He's putting in new troops, but yeah, looks like we've defeated him. Let's get in the capital. Don't need volunteers. We have three military factories, that's nice. So what do we need? Well, we need those at least. And I think we need quite a bit of more infantry equipment to supply all our forces. So let's set that up as well. Did we already bring him to his knees? No, almost. Well, capital's here now, so let's get that one. That should be the thing to do to bring him down to his knees. These should join that army and set up defenses. Oh wait, we have to set up just two lines so we get 20 divisions. I think that's the best. Alright, we have his capital now, and they capitulated. Perfect. So, let's go set them up against Peru. Set up an attack line. That's done. And we'll justify war against them. Only five political power takes 25 days. That's perfect. Perhaps to extend that one. This fleet can't go anywhere, so it's just laying around there. Which is fine for now, but... If we could take all of this, we could probably be safe against... Invasion, because we can use a bit of that force to up our defenses. Right now we can't, so... I'm not really sure. So, fascism is rising in the US. We are responsible for that, which is good. Should keep doing that. And we have one of those nice doctrines. In. Well, there is one that will give you manpower. Attrition. Source gain. Soft attack, hard attack, entrenchment. I do believe there's one in here that gives manpower. I think so, but not really sure. Supply consumption breakthrough. No, so apparently I'm wrong. That's known to happen. Mission time, research time, interesting. Manhattan project. Well, I guess we should go for that one then. Give us much more factories to build. Which is really nice. Alright, they are moving towards their positions. Which is very good. It takes a while though, they're not using that. They should, but well. Force them. It's not really the smart choice, so let's not do that. Let's start building. No, we're not going to start building carriers because we don't even have carrier planes yet, so. Shouldn't focus on the fleet yet focus on uniting South America. I guess you can wonder why I just did all those researches then. Well, there's nothing wrong with doing those researches. can be really good on the long run, because they're just done. Right now, I'm going to start rebuilding battleships as soon as the new ones are researched. 31 days. Alright, so that's done, but not all my troops are in position yet, so... I should keep going. For instance, he should keep... He should hurry. He should hurry. He's almost there. They are getting close. How many divisions does he have? Between 12 and 18. So 
that looks rather okay. One of these is going really far. Set it up like that. So. New focus done. Perfect. That uh, was that focus. I like it. This doesn't give us any extra manpower, so not really needing that. Don't need that. So, let's get into resources then. Do we need? Probably steel. Well, let's get 18 steel. Need all the steel we can get. We have a better recon company. So, research is coming in smoothly. I like that. It is 1940, so we could get better artillery. It's good for our support units. When does this end? 27th of July. So let's give a few units time to reach their destination. It says we are a little bit stronger, as you can see down here, so... Should be able to just move in and, and crush them. They don't even have all their equipment. So I think we should just go. Let's go. going. Call in our allies, but I don't believe we have to, so let's not do that yet. Let's just try and get in, and especially if we can get here and get to the capital, that will be splendid. But we'll have to wait and see. But we'll develop. It does have quite a few divisions. Let's hope we can reach the capital really fast. Let's try and surround those. Moving in, yeah, so that's okay. Looks interesting, and he is slowing us down by attacking my troops, but hopefully that won't last. Two provinces to go, so long route. Hopefully they can get in. I'm moving quite fast, it's okay. So slowly gaining here, we have... Well, we need more support equipment, we don't have enough of that, especially if we and support units to our divisions. We're gonna need those. They're still progressing. Almost getting into Lima, which is their capital, and if we can get in, that's really gonna help. You should wait here, keep that province safe. You should get into Lima. Italy wants to help us in our war efforts. Well, fine, come in. I don't mind that. Alright, Peru, almost on its knees. Where should we go next? Well, we should go there. And if we get in, that could be enough. That means a better cruiser. Alright, so we can start producing a battleship. I like that. Let's get into the main fleet. And build two. And here we build two also. So there will be a few battleships, but, well, we need them. You need quite a bit of steel for that. Luckily we can trade for it. And, well... Let's get a few more fighters, fast as we can. And yes, he's gonna take all states. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, let's get down to the south. Get in there, draw up an attack line. Let's go and attack chill and destroy them. 
we should wait with justifying because I first want to see if everyone gets there fast. Does appear so, but you never know, so let's hold on a little bit. Let them get down there. And, well, oh, there we go. Problems on the horizon. Let's destroy them. Come on, get in. Destroy those forces. Perfect, perfect. Get in. Need to destroy them. And we did. That's good, that's good. Should not allow him to enter our land. Well, sometimes it's good, because if he enters and we can destroy those divisions like we did now, usually that just gives him extra casualties and him losing divisions. That can be rather interesting, but... It's not gonna happen all the time, so... Alright, we can get a better light tank. And those are rather fast, which is good, so let's go with that. Hopefully our units will be done rather soon. And when they do, they can be put up against Ecuador. We can start here with justifying. 5 political power, 25 days. Those are the numbers we want to see. What are we building here? Nice. All these military factories. Well, I guess we've built quite some iron. Where's the irony in that? I know I make bad jokes, but hey, I gotta laugh too. And of course you can wonder, is that what makes me laugh? Well, sometimes. Alright, those can go down, because they will repair automatically. As we can see, we have a bit of infrastructure that's looking very good. Right now, we want more military factories. Not one more, not two more, a lot more. Let's bring him in. Cairo has fallen, so it appears, he, yes, he regained some and he's doing a good job now. Quite a lot of troops in there, I don't know if he can support them all, but... No, he can't. Interesting. But if they can push him out here, that will be helpful for us. Should just not attack the Soviet Union yet. Should wait with that. Until it's safe enough to do something like that. What can we do here? Well, we can build an extra. Ooh, let's do some... All infantry get soft attack, reconnaissance. Those are kind of nice. Should focus a bit on that. Let little percentage bonuses in attacking. And well, that can be helpful. Ooh, that's a lot of steel. Let's get that. All right. How much longer will this take? Nine days. Nine days. And then chill. We get a chill. Except, come on, get in. It's fine. Well, I guess we are looking good. Low gains here. Should keep at war with him. And they're pushing even into Sweden, which is nice. War justification is done, so let's declare that war. Let's get in. Come on. Get in and attack. They are. Well, they're all set to aggressive, but they're not moving. Which is rather weird, because they should. Get in. Right, get in. Move up. Cut off the visions and just destroy them. A lot of stuff happening in the world.
Come on. Just stay there and attack. Up, get there, down there. You get there as well. Well, we've captured most of its land, so they're all coming in together around here. Yes, they're all coming in together around there. So let's set up an attack line. Make sure they move in. Our jungle infantry is done. Perfect. Let's surround it here. Set up an attack line. Same trick over and over again. Let's justify. And then we can get in. in the forest. We have a hill fighter. We should have a jungle one, I believe. Well, not really, but... Well, let's just give it to him and we can do a decent job with it, I'm sure. We have extensive conscription. Let's get to service by requirement. I mean, we do want all available men, don't we? We have tanks and we have motorized, so let's set up a decent tank division. And then, start producing them. Because we could use those. Support artillery, maintenance, save up. Now I do have a few, so let's see what that does to my stockpile. Not much. How many light tanks does it cost? 360. So if I start building five, should be okay. I just have a few missing. Alright. Now let's start with building five. And I guess we should increase production then. Shield capitulated. We got a little bit of equipment from them. But that's really nice. Alright. Let's get over here. Get to Panama. Come on. Alright, that's taking too long. Just get in there, get real close, and then spread out. Let's get my motorized in as well. I guess if we have some research free, we should fi focus on carrier fighters and carrier naval bombers. Because if we do... We could get really good things from that. Do we have a carrier fighter? And a bomber? No, let's get carrier fighter. Alright, now they're spreading out. Perfect. Romania has joined Japan as our ally in the Japanese-Chinese War. Alright. Problem by me. So he's just going to move real slow. Let's move up fast. Alright, it's done here, but my troops aren't all done, but that's okay. There's just a few forces, so let's immediately engage. Already winning there. Well, the challenge is about to come when we go forward towards the US. So. All looks easy now. It will get tough, I can promise you that. Let's get some national unity. Hmm. Let's not do that right now. Let's get with less consumer good factories. That's nice. So they are trying to move in, which is good. Greece is in the war, well, that's fine. Not 
really bothered by Greece. Let's get extra tanks. Oh, we have extra dockyards available. Well, we can start building some destroyers for our army. Let's put them in the main fleet as well. We do have quite enough convoys, so let's set it up like this. Shoot rate a little bit more. Why not? We're not at war with the US yet. Actually making them fascist. Is that going? Well, that's going okay. So hopefully that will keep them out of the war anyway. Maybe we can even let them join in. And once we've defeated the whole world, we can turn against them. Just not right now. Come on, they should attack rather aggressively. Alright, solid colors. Winter attrition, vision attrition will go down. Alright. Flash attrition does sound real good. So we have to choose between attrition, reinforce rate and research time, or maximum factories, production efficiency and resource gain. Well, no doubt here, we're gonna do Ecuador capitulated. Perfect, perfect. Alright, well let's set these up here as well. Start justifying. Panama. No. Why would they move so slow? They should move fast. Just don't understand it. Do get in trouble here though because the US is just in the way. Right there. I could ask for military access of course, but well, he's not gonna give it. Perhaps at some point we have to declare war. But the longer that mode it takes, the better. This takes a little while, but then they're all done. This is looking good. Tanks are looking good. Did we already produce quite a bit more? Well, we are producing, we have enough, so that's good. Let's check, because we are going down that path, we can still choose another one. Army focus, soft attack, hard attack, entrenchment, defense. Ah, so we should choose between attack or defense. And there's one for our navy, one for army, one for the air force. Well. I think we should go with the army. And that's a lot of organization. 15 organization. I could do with that. No doubt about it. Get a nice carrier fighter. What's not to like about that? Our first battleship is done. No, our first destroyer is done. Well, fine by me. Good Admiral. It's all looking good. So far at least. Alright. Let's justify. Well, let's use the justification. That's the right way to put it. is called El Salvador as an ally. El Salvador is turning into an ally. That's nice. Alright, they capitulated. So, if we get a harbor here, we could ship troops there. Which site will it be built, though? I mean, if it goes on this side or the other side, that makes a difference. I'm not sure. We we'll have to wait and see until one is done. Perhaps... Let's do it like this. We'll build one there as well. 
Let's see on which side the harbor can comes in. And then we'll just ship troops. And just hope they will get a safe passage. El Salvador joined in. But right now we just can't get there. There's no way. Ah, we have our carrier fighter. Well, the first version. Torpedo bomber, dive bomber. And a dive bomber. Well, let's first invest in a better carrier fighter. I think that would be good. Well, I guess this is a good moment to put an end to this episode, because, well, we have expanded our empire, and we are preparing to get into Middle America, and drive straight up towards the good old USFA, and try to do a war with them. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and support me in that way. Leave comments if you have anything that you think I can do better, or tips, or tricks, or I don't care. Just leave a comment, I'll respond to it. And I hope to see you next time. Thank you, bye bye.